guys, and welcome back to the 50K Hobby Chick. Thank you so, so much to those who've been subscribing and sending awesome words of encouragement. Today, we're starting with my favorite chicken and dumpling recipe. Great comfort food, great for carb loading, so let's get started. All right, I start with a pack of chicken thighs because they stay so nice and moist. Then I do my onion packet of seasoning, black pepper, garlic powder, seasoned salt, cream of chicken, bouillon cubes, sweet butter, as well as chicken broth all right i start with an empty pot pour in two full uh, batches of the chicken broth and keep pouring i squeeze it get it all out i will say one thing that throws me off about these boxes are uh the cap and you'll see this in a second i'll open it and think oh my god this thing is already open but it's not it kind of opens it really easily it breaks it open the seal so please don't think it's not fresh it's fine keep pouring and you will be fine all right i've also added which i've not shown just yet four bottles of uh, spring water or filtered water either is fine if you want to use tap that's up to you um, but that part i did not show i'm also putting in a full stick of butter i know some people do just do half a stick but i love that extra fat especially being a keto girl um and adding it in and it just tastes good all right next are the chicken cubes the bouillon cubes okay. And you can see it's a very small jar. These three pack a powerful punch of seasoning. You just break them up and put them in. Now I've set my pot on like the highest heat possible so I can get it started boiling. And now I've added in my black pepper um, and I'm also putting in my cream of chicken. I will say it looks like banana pudding with like bits of meat in it. Um, not exactly appetizing, but <laughs> By the end of the meal, you'll see it makes it taste extremely good. All right, and here comes my Lipton onion soup. All you need is just one envelope or one pouch. Shocking the flavor that this gives to a dish. We have actually started adding it to our collard greens, and that'll have to be like another episode. But it is insane the flavor that it gives. Now, one step I'm not showing in here um, as it starts to get boiling, I did go ahead and add seasoning directly to my chicken. I just do not like to have, have to add like a lot at the end. So I did go ahead and put on the seasoned salt, the pepper, um, and garlic powder directly onto the chicken. So you can see it's in here now of course it kind of just washes all right off and into the pot but I just like to kind of have it on there already so it's boiling and it's boiling and I'm watching it and of course y'all watch pot never boils all right so here I've pulled out the chicken I've started shredding it and I did use the backward fork method even though I poked it in here the wrong way but all you do is reverse the forks opposite of what I'm showing you here and just pull them apart the chicken is so tender it's insane now this is what makes this a fast recipe you have to use the grains or any large um, you know a container of buttermilk biscuits not plain biscuits most people will take a pizza cutter and cut it up into fours I actually just took it and broke it into fours I thinned them out a little bit and you can see from the sides kind of how they look all right and then i start breaking them into four pieces and then i individually place them yes it's painstaking but i did put them in the pot individually so they wouldn't kind of mesh together i love that they're not perfectly shaped so it just really gives it that homemade look um and i'm excited because i should share this was like my first time ever making it all right so here i'm almost done you can see some of the dumplings sitting at the top or the biscuit um you know mix so I start pushing it down into um, the mixture. All right, let the heat get to it, let it get you know good in there, add that taste into it. So I do this throughout the entire batch, and voila, it's almost done. So you can see the color starting to kick in. Um, you'll see the chicken definitely now is fully cooked, and my dumplings are getting really good. So I'm almost at my little paper plating. It's not gourmet. <laughs> But it's 50k hobby way right all right and look bon appetit it came out fantastic the family loved it it didn't last a day and i hope you guys love it too like and subscribe for more thanks so much for watching